objects are seemings and none know their truth ideas are guesses of an ignorant god so poor god is <laughs> me now of course he is ignorant god is metaphorically stands for man metaphorically stands for man you see ideas are guesses of an ignorant god truth has no home in us irrational breast it is absolutely true it cannot have a home when there is that irrationality yet without reason life is a tangled of dreams but reason is poised above a dim nebula and stands at last upon a plank of doubt this is actually what death has read of Descartes. <laughs> you keep on doubting, 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 everything, ultimately you land and go where, you see. You see. That is the Cartesian philosophy. Reason is poised above a dim abyss and stands at last upon a plank of doubt, plank of doubt, that is Cartesian, absolutely. Eternal truth lives not with mortal men. It is very true. Eternal truth lives not with mortal men. There is no doubt about that. But there is a doubt. Nocio mort. Eternal truth lives not is true, but does it mean that eternal truth will never live with mortal men? <laughs> uh, see, he is a little careful. Lives not. He doesn't say will never live with mortal men. <laughs> Eternal truth never lives with mortal men. He is not saying that. Eternal truth lives not with mortal men. Or if she dwells not within thy mortal heart, show me the body of the living truth to draw for me the line of her face that I too may obey and worship her. Or if she dwells, she, of course, truth. If truth dwells not within thy mortal heart, show me the body of the living. If that truth does not exist in your mortal heart, then show me her living body. Where it is, show me that. It is not here, all right. Because I have said that truth does not live in mortal men. If truth does not live in mortal men, it is meaning that you are immortal, it is not living here. If it is not living here, then show me where it is. That is the whole argument. Or if wells not within thy mortal heart, show me the body of the living truth. Or draw for me the outline of her face, that I too may obey and worship her. You make an image, you make a sketch, you make a painting or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so that I will go and offer her flowers, put incense sticks around her <laughs> and worship her and all that, you see. Show me that. Now, it's so beautiful, this whole thing, you know. But there is a shocking thing. Huh? There is a shocking thing. Eternal truth lives not with mortal men. That is perfectly correct. You are a mortal being. Therefore, the eternal truth cannot live in your heart. 
that I understand. But you are talking about truth and all that. Show me her face. Draw me a sketch so that I can go and worship her. I am not able to. That is the whole meaning of it. Now, what these great people have done is they have removed not in the revised edition. They have removed not. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. Ilyapala. <laughs> or if she dwells within thy mountain heart, I don't understand then where is the question of drawing a figure? If she dwells within thy mortal heart, show me the body of the living truth. It's ridiculous then, you know. No. Yes, no. Because he is also when you say uh, uh, she is, she dwells not. She, she means if she is not there, show me the body. Yeah. If she is not here, it's, 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 it
you get a little puzzling. Or if she dwells not within thy mortal, or if she dwells within thy mortal heart, see this not, this not, this or will not allow this not. No. Yeah. Yeah. I understand also. Without yeah, but then the. No, let me please explain. Yeah, okay. The first, the 14th line, the yeah. 14th, he is a certain yeah. to some degree yeah. that the truth cannot be in the mortal man. Yeah. And after, he wants to prove her. Yeah. And he said, he said, the, the truth cannot live in the mortal man. Yeah. So after, he said, oh. If it's here, yeah. show me the yeah, Exactly. exactly. See, see, as far as this thing is concerned, this sentence is concerned, there is a kind of a universality. Yes. Okay. This sentence has a kind of universality. This sentence does not have that universality. It is specific, there is a specificity about Savitri. If it is, if she is with you, that if takes away that universality, so you can't really combine this not and this or and knock off this not. Yeah. Well, you you ponder on that. <laughs> Eternal truth lives not with mortal man is perfectly yours a statement. Which is valid or not. I said eternal truth lives not with mortal man is a fact of life as it exists. It does not mean that eternal truth will never live in mortal man, which is another statement. But then, in a way, death has considered victory to Savitri, that if that mortal, if she can show him, see, again, there is a difference here, eternal truth, T. Living to T. There are differences. You can't really combine them together. You can't combine them together, you see. You can't combine this truth with this truth and therefore not this, not this, or not this, or. <laughs> that different statements altogether, they have to be taken independently. In fact, this not is most pertinent. When you see, okay, if she is not there with you, draw a figure for me and I will show and I will worship her. I will do puja or whatever. <laughs> By saying so, death has considered kind of victory to Savitri. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He has considered kind of victory. But at the same time, it is a strategic move on his part. He is certain that she cannot show. Therefore, he is safe. <laughs> she cannot say, show that, therefore is safe. And therefore, there is no question of giving back the Sola Satyavan to Savitri. Then will I give thee back thy Satyavan. He has not taken any risk In this way, see. <laughs> you see, he has not taken any chance at all, any risk at all, you see. He is very tight in his argument. Then will I give thee back Satyavan, but here are only facts and steel bound law. This truth I know that Satyavan is dead, and even the sweetness cannot lure him back, etc., etc. Now, you see. No magic, sorry, no magic truth, sorry, no magic truth can bring the dead to life. No power of earth cancel the thing once done. No joy of the heart can last surviving death. No bliss persuade the past to live again. No magic, no power, no joy, no bliss. Sorry, you go back without Satyavan. He is safe. Because you cannot show me the face of the truth.
but life alone can solace the mute void and fill with thought emptiness of time. Live then the dead, O oh, Savitri, and live. <laughs> Now this line is also very difficult, but life alone can solace the mute void. No truth, no joy, no power, no bliss, but life alone can solace it. It is in contrast with that. No truth, no joy, no power, no bliss, but life alone can give consolation to void be there. Because it's there. Because it's there. It's live then, therefore, live then the dead. <laughs> Go back now. O Savitri and live. Your time has not come, it will come one day. <laughs>